Hi guys, Tiffany here from Lake Life State of Mind and welcome to another edition of Thirsty Thursday. Today is a patriotic theme Thirsty Thursday, specifically for the 4th of July happening in two days. Saturday, if you can believe it, is the 4th of July. For the occasion, I am wearing my shirt that I got at Target a couple years ago, my red, white, and beer shirt, and we are gonna be making a patriotic mimosa. Three ingredients, your cocktail that you're gonna to wanna to be drinking when you wake up in the morning through to the afternoon before you switch. You could drink it all day long, but this in my mind is more of a breakfast, brunch type of a cocktail for the 4th of July, Memorial Day, or just because. I call it a patriotic mimosa because it is in a shade of blue, and we've got that red, white, and blue going on. I have already made one only because I wanted to showcase my awesome cup that I DIY'd earlier this week. I shared this on Monday on the blog. I painted this adorable cup, Dollar Tree, got the cup at Dollar Tree, with some paints, multi-purpose, uh, excuse me, multi-surface paints that I purchased at Michael's, and it took no time at all. I cured it, and it's dishwasher safe on the top rack now, and this is one massive mimosa. I'm gonna make one in a regular champagne flute, but I wanted to just show you how pretty and gorgeous and patient patriotic this red white and blue cocktail is is this not the cutest little thing this is like a double whammy right here so this is two mimosas in one so just beware if you do decide to make my cup and use that as your vessel to hold your patriotic mimosa this is like double the fun so just so you know but cheers to you guys this is patriotic mimosa, but I already made one. So I'm just letting you know that's why my bottles and everything are all open here. So three ingredients, like I said, with any mimosa, champagne, Prosecco is the main thing that you're gonna see inside of a mimosa, along with some juice. So we are going to be doing Prosecco with a little bit of lemonade. Now, I also, feel like you could change the juice as well. I have a banana, oh banana, a pineapple and coconut juice that I found. Plain pineapple juice would also be a really great addition. Strawberry lemonade sounds like it would be good too. The juice part is up to you. Don't just go out specifically to the store. If you have another kind of juice and you want to try it out, feel free to do so. But for mine that I'm making today, we're gonna to be using Prosecco, lemonade, and what gives it that blue color that we're looking for for the patriotic themed cocktail is blue curacao. And this is a liqueur. This is what is used in a blue Hawaiian. A blue Hawaiian is gonna have blue curacao and vodka, and then it's gonna have some pineapple juice. So that's why I say you could easily swap out this lemonade and put in a pineapple type, this pineapple co coconut, for example, because those flavors we know will definitely mesh well together. But that's it, these three ingredients. And then for the red aspect of it, we're gonna just put in some strawberries to make it look real pretty. And that's it. So you guys ready to get started? Again, I'm gonna do it inside of my champagne flute. And I'm gonna get that out, move this all to the side here. Simple. We're gonna put one ounce of our blue carousel in the bottom of this champagne flute. Now, I'm measuring for the sake of measuring. I think you all know me by now. I'm a math person, used to be a math teacher, elementary school teacher. I like numbers, but honestly, if I was making my second or my third or whatever amount of mimosas, by that point, I wouldn't be really sitting here and measuring as much anymore. So you can eyeball it if you want to. But on the bottom of here, I'm gonna put one ounce of the blue curacao. Now this is a liquor, so just so you know, you're putting in Prosecco, which is also liquor, and then you're putting this in. So just be aware of that, okay? Because sometimes these drinks can taste very, very fruity or just like, oh, it's nothing, and then all of a sudden it creeps in on you. So I always like to make sure that I mention, ooh, mention to you as I'm knocking things over that there's double the 
double the alcohol in this one, all right, guys? So one ounce of that, and again, that's what's gonna give us that blue color. Once we put in the Prosecco, it's gonna start calming down and in like the vibrant color, as well as that lemonade. So I'm gonna carefully put in my Prosecco. Remember, this is bubbles. You don't wanna do it all the way to the top. I'm gonna go right about here, which is about three-fourths of the way full, like so. That is not a measurement. I'm just putting that in there about three-fourths of the way, just because we wanna have some room for our lemonade, which is just a splash that we're gonna put on the top. And I'm actually gonna shake this because it kind of gets all of like the pulp and stuff on the bottom, at, at least in the Simply brand. They're really good, it's fairly fresh. There we go. I'm gonna put a splash in there of my lemonade. Ta-da! And that is it. I'm gonna top it. I'm gonna actually put in maybe like one. And I've got these cute little skewers too. So I'm gonna stick one of those in there with another strawberry. And that is it guys, look at this. My patriotic mimosa, three ingredients. Of course, I'm gonna take a sip. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I do like these skewers, by the way. I use them for an appetizer that I'm gonna link as well. They're mini Cuban sandwich um, skewers, amazing. Cheese, pickles, ham, and a honey mustard sauce, so yum. Easy for the 4th of July too. But I like these skewers, especially for things like this, because you can actually just kind of, I don't know, poke your fruit and then you can grab it instead of having to fish inside of it with your fingers, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's a little bit, I don't know, prissier this way. So let's take a sip here of our patriotic mimosa. Mmm, mm, it's perfect. Very, very, very good. Citrusy for sure because of the lemonade. The blue carousel just gives it like a fresh, vibrant taste. You definitely taste the Prosecco in there. This is a perfect little mimosa. Line up your glasses on Saturday morning. Pour a little bit of your blue carousel in the bottom of all of your glasses and some of your Prosecco. You can easily knock these out. This is so simple. Again, this is the main ingredient. This is what's gonna get you that blue color as well as your Prosecco. These two are a necessity as far as the juice is concerned. I use lemonade, but feel free, and I'm gonna pull this over again, to use pineapple. This one's a pineapple coconut. That flavor would also go really good in this as well. So if you've got pineapple juice on hand and you don't have the lemonade, Try the pineapple juice. If you have both, do one of each and see which one you like better. But that is it, guys. I hope you all have an amazing 4th of July. If you're watching this around Memorial Day, an amazing Memorial Day. If you just want a blue cocktail because blue is amazing, enjoy that too. Have a great, great, great rest of your week. Enjoy your 4th of July or your patriotic holiday or your brunch, breakfast, whatever. Baby shower for a boy. This would be amazing for that too. Thanks guys. If you have any questions, if you have any ideas, ideas I can't talk for cocktails, as always, do not hesitate to reach out to me at lakelifestateofmind.com. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and my website at www.lakelifestateofmind.com. I think I plugged myself enough. Have a wonderful day and happy 4th of July, guys. Bye. Thank you.